an amino acid. A peptide. Welcome back. If this is your first time here, I'm in the middle of doing a series on peptides. I have two videos prior to this one. Um, in the first video, we talked about what is a peptide. In the second video, we talked about what can peptides do. And now we're gonna dive a little further into the type of peptides we'll see in cosmetic products. In these particular videos, I'm taking you along with me as I do my research. So you can see my process and try it yourself. So my research last week led me to a summary article on the Oregon State University website. One thing that stood out to me as I was looking through those studies that were all compiled in that one article was how many different types of peptides there are. So I thought, why not investigate the different types of peptides that we're going to see in products? Um, that led me to the Chemist Corner. If you've never been to the Chemist Corner, it's amazing. Uh, it's run by a man named Perry Romanowski, and a bunch of other cosmetic chemist formulators hang out there. I love them and their philosophy so much. They also do another website called The Beauty Brains that I do own their book. Because they're smart, you know, their opinions are backed by science degrees and formulation experience, uh, they definitely tend to, to err on the side of skepticism and apply that to cosmetic claims. I very much resonate with the stuff that they talk about and how a lot of stuff is BS and just marketing. Uh, so this was a natural place for me to end up and they have a whole article on peptides. Now, Perry doesn't list any of his sources, uh, but a lot of his things that he talks about in this article are just common cellular biology uh, kind of knowledge and I thought I would tell you a little bit about it. Where the plot thickens is that he basically starts out the article saying that if peptides in skincare worked, they would actually have to be classified as a drug. Now see, remember the layers of our skin? And remember we have the epidermis and the dermis. Now to make claims in the US about cosmetics or beauty products, you can only affect the epidermis or the appearance of the skin. You can't say that it builds collagen, you can say that it makes the skin look firmer. So now, peptides technically worked down here in the dermis. So that's why he's saying, if they really worked, they would have to be classified as a drug. That's another discussion. Let's just move into the types of peptides. The first type that he talks about are the neurotransmitter inhibitor peptides. These type of peptides technically work like Botox and they've been synthesized and put in cosmetics to kind of mimic the way that Botox works. Basically they inhibit the muscle from contracting as uh, much as it would. So instead of my forehead going like this, it would maybe go more like this. Yeah. It, neurotransmitter inhibitory peptides. So one that I wanted to point out was this baby. You're gonna see this one a lot in skincare. And I think we'll investigate it further in another video. The next one is signal peptides. Now these are the really interesting ones. These are the ones that signal the cell or signal some of the pathways in the skin to promote collagen or elastin. and all that occurs in the dermis. Now the next one is a carrier peptide. Mmm, this is the one of the interesting ones. These are the peptides that carry trace elements like copper and magnesium. These are the ones that are known to improve pro-collagen synthesis, elasticity of the skin, and an overall improvement of the way that the skin looks. Remember, I keep thinking about this one because it's in this product. And the last category that he talks about are enzyme inhibiting peptides. 
These are the ones that actually inhibit the body from breaking down things like collagen. And they've actually isolated peptides that do something like this from rice and soy. So definitely more on that to come. All right, guys, it was fun. It was fast. It was somewhat factual. And um, yeah, more next week because peptides, wow, just a really diverse, broad, interesting topic. I'll see you on Monday for the face mask alchemy video for the September box. That'll be up on Monday. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.